we're gonna be doing some ear correction as you can see on huracan over there his ears are like flopping over and they have been cut they're healed so now it's time to correct that some people actually leave them like that until they kind of train their own uh muscles to lift them up and stuff like that with exercise or massaging i like to help them out a little bit um so the technique that we use um to help them out is just building some posts some like large q-tips with inverted uh tape um speaking of tape this is the kind of tape that you're gonna need this is like sports tape you can get a close-up on this baby you see that it's breathable it's not the stretchy kind um they have some that's like this that's kind of flexible you don't want that kind it's this is like cloth you can almost see through it doesn't have to be black I got this from CVS for I think like four bucks. Um, that's the kind of tape I use. A little bit of toilet paper. You're gonna need an e-collar. The e-collar is to keep uh, the dog from scratching the the post off, taking the tape off, because they tend to feel something on their ear and they want to like scratch it off. So if you don't get one of those, you're gonna see yourself retaping, retaping, retaping. So I found that that works. So first thing we do is we get a straw any kind of straw works I like the the thicker ones from McDonald's because it gives it a more of a curve uh, when we're doing the taping so what I like to do is split it in half or bend it in half and depending on your dog's size ears or or the year or the the age of the dog you're gonna cut them depending on right now I got maybe about three to four inches in there about the size of my middle finger get this out of here and the first thing I like to do is get myself a few pieces of tape ready back up boy um, something like maybe about an inch by an inch not sure exactly what the what the measurements on this tape is but I figure about little pieces like this okay and I get one little square of the toilet paper and I fold it into pieces like this so I get a small piece like that okay keep that in mind because I forgot a step no I forgot the sticky part, the sticky reverse on the straw. So, by the same length of the straw, you're going to reverse tape it. Reason is that when you're posting, you want the straw to stick to the inside of the tape that you have you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute but it helps okay so so you get something like that it's just a reverse tape all right once you did that you get your little square and just stick it on one end of the straw like this we're building a q-tip to make it easy for you to understand. We're just building a, our own Q-tip. Grab another piece of tape and grab some of the, the straw and the toilet paper. Use some of your tape. Lay down, boy. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to make sure that the tape is on there and it's not just going to come off. You're going to get something like this, which is like a, a Q-tip with a little bit of sticky tape on, on, on the top here. So build you two of those. Get used to building them because you're going to be building them regularly. You may need to change them out every couple days. Uh, you can still use the same straw, but you are going to have to change the tape and stuff like that. So... Make sure you get two of those going, all right? 
the next step is to get a really tired or sleepy dog so that you can start the posting I usually like to wait till they're sleeping but I got a few things I gotta do today so I gotta get this in and he's pretty tired right now so he might just let me work on so you want to make sure the ears are completely healed and there's no scabbing or anything like that you want to make sure they're clean so that you don't trap any dirt and get any infections in there um, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna grab a piece of tape and we're gonna get maybe about two inches of tape about like that and we're gonna split it in half this way though long ways long ways all right, we get two pieces. One of the pieces you're gonna put on the inside of the ear where there's like a little crease right there. There's like a little line. The other part of that folds to the back. So you wanna make sure that you, you fill it out. There's a little flat part right there. You're gonna put a piece of tape right there and just bring it all the way up. Make sure that it sticks real good okay the other half of the tape we're gonna do on the back behind the little fold there's like a little fold right here like I said you're gonna put that behind so that it can meet up with the other part of the tape so you get something like this okay so now you have like a little handle up here that you're gonna need so you need that little that, that space right there because you're gonna fold that onto the straw all right once you got that you're gonna grab one of your posts that you made and you're gonna stick it in a in the little canal but you don't want to go inside the ear canal there's like a little pocket right on the bottom here you're gonna want to put your your uh, post down in there it doesn't hurt them okay make sure that it's sitting down in there okay and then this is what you should have just like that all right so as you can see the sticky part of the of of the straw is going to stick to the tape and you can kind of leave it there for now grab you another little piece of tape and grab it from the top so that you grab the tape and the straw and fold it over make sure that there's no ear uh, fold it over on that part okay so you're gonna have something that's gonna look like that okay obviously you can cut that out if I could find my scissors make sure you don't cut your dog's ears all right so once you got that part done which is the post onto the little tape part you're gonna grab another piece of tape okay and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from this part all the way around and meet up down here so you got to make sure you get a long enough piece of tape to go around from here down like a like a like a uh, like a barber's pole you're gonna kind of wrap it down until it meets down here all right so I'm gonna grab a longer piece of tape because that one was too short okay just like that so we start at an angle like this grab start at the tape base and then come around make sure that that little flap that we talked about goes back okay very important then bring it down and that's it that's all you got to do leave that there you seen that tape baby that scissors mm -hmm. that's smaller scissors I don't know where they went um, any string you might want to get it out I had smaller scissors I don't know where they went all right, so you're going to have something like that. Make sure you don't put it too tight because you can cut off the dog's circulation. Go ahead and put your e-collar on them or your uh, health cone. 
And what I like to do is in the beginning when they're first, when I'm first starting the tape, I like to check on the tape. I might take it off in another hour just to look to see if either the tape is too tight, um, if I have to redo something. It becomes an obsession after a while because you kind of want to get them perfect, but you'll get better at it as you um, go through the process. And the pup will actually kind of let you do it, get used to it. Um, always check, make sure that you don't put the tape on too tight. That's very, very important. You can cut off the dog circulation that way and you know it's very painful so all you're doing is really just supporting the post so that you know when you pull up on the little handle on the tape um, they stay up and it's just to help them you know help them train their own muscles to get the ear going and once that's done maybe in another week or two uh, you're all done the ears will automatically kind of just every time someone whistles or or they see a squirrel or something they'll uh they'll stand them up on their own and like i said some people tape some people don't uh you can massage the cartilage in in place after a while it kind of like does its own thing but you know we like to help them out a little bit it's worked for us with anna it worked with us with ruby worked with us with diesel and this is basically what we do thank you for watching hope this works hopes this helps you if you have any questions please leave them in the comment box i'm more than happy to help you out get this going um if you can't reach me there, hit me at 954-825-6641. I'm always available to answer text messages, phone calls, whatever you have. So, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and uh, God bless.